Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So I hope you're all doing fantastically well. So in today's episode, guys, um, it's obviously going to be about Cody 17. Um, I'm going to give my honest review mm -hmm. about Cody 17. Um, I'm going to show you how to navigate a little bit. Um, I've been using Cody 17 for a couple of weeks now. Um, I have to say, me personally, I'm I'm very disappointed with it. Um, I don't like the way it's laid out. Um, they brought two new skins in with it. Because um, I, like, I, like, I like to do a bit of customising. With the new basic skins, they're not very customisable. Now, by all means, you can go and install Confluence. But my point is, well, what's the point? Uh, I mean... <laughs> I see people all the time say, oh, well, you know, just install Confluence. It makes it look like 16.1. But it defeats the whole, uh, defeats the whole object of Cody 17, surely. You know, I'm not going to install Cody 17 to make it look like Cody 16.1. Otherwise, what what is the point of me wasting two minutes of my time installing it? I just, oh, I don't know, guys. I just, I don't really like it. I mean, obviously, like, it's just bland. I mean, you look at it here, this... There's, there's not much to it. Like, yeah, you've got some nice little pop-ups here. Like, well, hey, I mean, do you want pop-ups? You know? I mean, you could probably you could probably, you could put a background image on there, which then would... These icons here would go a bit transparent. But it's not like... I think, like, on AR Nox, where you can have, like... You have your bar, then you have your video scroll across to, like, your music or whatever, whatever categories you want to put on there. But with AL Knox, you can select a different image for different ones. Now I know you can get AL Knox on here, but it, but again, it, it defeats the whole object of Cody Seventeen. Well, that's just what I, what I feel anyway. I just think it. I don't like it. Sometimes my add-ons crash. Sometimes my live TV crashes, and it's nothing to do with my device. I mean, I, I know I do it on my phone. But my phone's got like I think it's about between four and six gigabyte of RAM, so it's not my phone. It's still a bit glitchy for me. It's okay just to do to do an add-on, but then again, what you got to think of is if you're doing free add-ons as well, not all add-ons are compatible. It's up to the developers to make these add-ons compatible. So if you think, oh yeah, I've got my paid service, yeah, good, 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 um, I, but I like a couple of free add-ons, but they're not compatible, so you can't do it. It's the same with builds, guys, it's the same with builds. Almost all builds from 16.1 have to be all redone. You know, it's not like you can just transfer the files over. It's it's all different. It's all different. I've I I tried to do it and it's just it just messes up. Like by all means, you can you can transfer a build from sixteen point one to seventeen because I tested it yesterday with um, our Slinus build. Um, I inst I installed the Titan skin on here. Um, and then what I've done is I transferred all the files over. I then the two main images on, on the front of the slide board, I then put them in into the media folder where it's supposed to be. Um, my Cody crashed. And then I loaded it back up and the skin had magically deleted itself. So yeah. So that's just a few things like that, guys. I mean, the live TV aspect of it is pretty decent. It's, it's a little bit of an upgrade. But because I haven't delved so much into it, I haven't really seen like what 17 can do for me personally 17 is just harder to navigate than 16.1 for me that's the only difference i see so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you a few things around it i'm going to show you if you want to change your skin which is very very easy to change what you want to do at the top where you've got the cody sign you've got the power but you've got the power button the search bar in the middle you've got like this little cog what you want to do is you want to hit that cog okay um now you think, oh, it would be in skin settings. No, it's not in skin settings, even though it's a skin. Believe it or not, it's not in skin settings. You want to go to interface settings, okay? And here from here, down where the cog is at the bottom, it says standard. You want to tick that till it says expert, okay? Now, it says here skin here. You know, we can configure this skin. There's stuff that we can do. We can go to, like, main 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 menu icons, you know, you can edit the categories on all of them here.
you know, just tell you that you need something to download. We'll wait for that to download a minute. Yeah, you can edit categories, you can move categories across, you can select how you want. But that's about it, guys. It doesn't, it doesn't, for me, it doesn't get any better. And I'm just like, well, that's a skin for 17, so if I'm going to use 17, I want, I want to use that skin. I don't want to use, a, I don't want to use a skin for, from 16.1. You know, I put, I, I put up a little post out on, I believe it's Cody Insiders, and the amount, of, I mean, the amount of abuse I got, I'm just like, well, it's just my honest opinion. Don't shoot me down because I have an opinion. Everyone's entitled to an opinion. You know, not, ev not everyone will like it. You know, everyone's like, oh, I'll just, well, we'll just use confidence or, no, it's not the same. It's not, it, it then, it doesn't make it. It's, you're basically, you have Cody 17, but it feels like 16.1. What is the, what, what's the point? It's like, I've got an S7. I'm not going to downgrade to an S6, am I? No, it's just stupid. So, as you can see, it's not much on the skin you can do there, but if you select skin here, you got that ES touch here, whatever. That's, that's just crap as well. What you want to do is you click get more okay now all these skins here we're on 16.1 so this is where my point comes back into play okay i don't know if all of them are i know for a fact am nox was i know for a fact amber is i know for a fact black class nova is confluence eminescence metropolis mimic rapier titan transparency and experience 1080 Okay, I know 100% they're on there. Okay, so I'll show you Confluence. So it's going to install Confluence here. It doesn't take that long, to be fair. I think the longest one is probably Aeon Nox. And there we go here. Look. I mean, it was, yeah, install Confluence. Well, now you tell me how in the holy crap does that look like Cody 17? That looks nothing, nothing even resembles. Cody 17 in there. I'll tell you what does when you've got a system here. Oh, and you've got a few extra things here because it's player media. I'd, that's just that's just my views on it, guys. Anyway, we're gonna move away, move away from the skin side because you know I could rant about this all day. I've got loads of points I could say, but you know I don't want to make this video all all negative. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to install add-ons, guys. Okay. Now in Cody 17, you have to enable. Uh, th third party basically you have to tick this thing to essentially let you install add-ons i mean i don't i don't know why they've done this is there is, did they have to do it i don't know maybe that's a question we could put to the developers so from here what you want to do is you want to click on add-ons what we'll do is no what we'll do actually is we'll load that in the original skin Yeah, we'll load the skin back up. We'll go back to S3. There we go. We'll keep that there. Okay. What we want to do from here is go back. Okay. Now you've got this little menu here. Okay. Now you want to go to system settings. Okay. And near the bottom where it says add-ons. Okay. And make sure you set to expert level. You want to click on add-ons. And near the bottom there, second from the bottom, it says unknown sources. Okay. You want to tick that and click yes there. Just going to a little pop up. Okay, now you are now going to be able to install an add-on. So I'm now going to show you how to install an add-on. Okay, right. Now this process here of finding file manager took me, I don't know, about two hours. Okay, it took me ages. No, not this file manager. It's when we get so when we go and actually install from zip file. It's an absolute ball lake, guys. Okay, what you're going to do is you want to add your source CF. So, for reasons, we're just going to add uh, the endless one. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash endless IPTV dot XYZ forward slash end. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, again. Right now, you think, what well, this got back out. It's, it's going to be in here. No, it's not in here. Okay, you think where is it? It's not here. Basically, what you got to do, guys, on this drop-down menu here, you've got add-ons. Okay, you want to hit add-ons. Okay, now you think where? Where is it? Where is it? Now, 
where you, where it says add-ons at the top and beneath it you've got the cog to the right then you've got a little refresh button then you've got this little bit one here on the left okay you want to click that now that takes you to install from zip file I actually found that by accident I mean there's I just I don't understand it but what you can do if you can't find it, if you have trouble which is what I found the quickest way to do is just go install from repository okay in the three lines at the top hit that and it takes you straight there okay I mean that that's that's a bit easier than finding that we do go to the add-on I mean you've got the bundle there and you've got the endless zip so we're just going to do the endless zip for now okay you just got to bear with it because I mean I found sometimes doing add-ons it I mean one hand took like three minutes I was like okay just sometimes takes a bit long and when it's done the add-on should just appear here as you can see it, it takes a little bit of time it's too much time perhaps it makes you want to, there we go, it makes you want to jump back in so there it is, that's, that's how you would install an add-on okay so now if you want to install the wizard you can, by all means you can install the wizard on 17 but it won't work guys, okay, I'm just, I'm, I'm going to show you guys that it doesn't work, okay so what you want to do, if you can remember, is you want to click back on add-ons. You want to click the little box thing here. You want to click install from zip file. The end folder again. Go down to wizard. Plug in wizard. Okay. And then again, that still takes time. It still takes a bit of time, but it will appear here. I know I've, I've said on, on the Facebook page that obviously it doesn't work. But I just want to show you guys that it doesn't work. Because I, I, I'm sometimes like, someone tells me it doesn't work. But I'm just like, well, I've got to do it. I've got to experience it for myself. I've got to experience it not working for myself. Even though 20 people have told me it's not working, I have to experience it for myself. Okay. So there we go. It goes down a program. And we've got Endless Wizard. So you want to click on that. Uh, obviously, you've got your maintenance in here. Okay. Delete cache, fresh start, delete packages. And you got the builds here. We've got the science build here. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to pause the video and then we're going to rejoin when it's nearly done, guys. So as you can see, we're back, guys. Okay. Um, sometimes if you're going to install another build as well, sometimes, um, you have to go into the look and feel settings. That's in system. That's in set. That's in system. You just go in there and you have to enable the skin for some reason. So now it's going to tell us. To save changes, we need to force close Cody. So we're going to press OK. And we're going to force close Cody. And we're going to load Cody back up again. Oh, it's, it's doing it, it's doing it, it's doing it. No, it hasn't done it. So, as I said, that's just... I'm just showing you guys that it, it just doesn't work. Okay. So yeah, but I mean, by all means, start making your own skin, guys. Start making your start on Aonox if you feel like you want to. Um, I know Cody Seventeen is still quite fresh, so they might bring out some very customizable ones. But my view on Cody Seventeen is, for me personally, it's a letdown. Um, it just, it really is. I don't, I don't like it. I just, I don't, I don't see any difference. I mean, the only difference is there's only a couple. Like if you look at it in general, if you look at it, how it is box standard, yeah, because not everyone delves all the way into it and has a proper look. People look at this and go, well, oh, they've added these here. Okay. And they, and you've got this bit here that's a bit different. But apart from that, I, I don't really like it, to be honest. I mean, you can have profiles. We can have like master logging and all that, guys. But yeah. That's it for today's episode. If you liked the video, don't forget to smash that like button, guys. Can we get five likes on this channel? It'd be absolutely amazing. Just a quick shout, just a quick shout, guys. Uh, I've just reached two, just over two hundred subs on the channels. It's absolutely amazing, guys. Um, the amount of the, the views that I get is just it spurs me on to do more videos. Um, I'm going to be doing a Q and A soon. Um, don't know how that's going to work really, um, because I won't be able to do it live. I'm probably just going to put up a post and uh, get you guys to write down some questions. Any questions? Any questions regarding Endless, any questions regarding, regarding me, 
me personally or anything like that. Just any any generalised questions that you guys want, feel like you want to ask or, or anything. So, there you go, guys. Till next time. See you later.